We're going to look at um, APC's TRPG version 7 mod pack. This is uh, over 200 mods in here. First, we'll look at the frame rate. Frame rate will vary in your CPU. So if your frame rate is slow, first thing is to go and try to save on the shader. So we're going to switch between those. Go in here, click off, go for a step. Internal will also improve your performance. Once uh, off shows up, we can pop back and went from eight nine to roughly seventeen. So let's see what we can do. This is just at the spawn, which has the slowest frame rate. So let's go in. I've already turned off music, so we don't have that running. That sometimes can make a difference. Go into video settings, and these are all turned fairly to the high speed. We're not gonna mess with. Which is for experiment, we'll try this fog start even though fog's off. Sometimes has made a difference. And oh, there we go. We see a boost in the frame rate. For a primer that shouldn't have any effect. So actually if we go we'll take a look at this, you can go to maximum. You see a frame rate went down. If we now switch to off, one would expect the frame rate to go up, but it's not. It's actually below where it was. And even if we let it sit for a while, it will not uh, go up above 18 here, we see. Well, there's a 19, but then drops. So we have some variation. So let's go back. So the default setting is the best one, minimal. Um, Dynamic lights is always cool, but let's see what is the performance penalty there. Yeah, again, you see a little bit of performance penalty. And, and, and this with the CPU, the speed, it's more than we can handle, so we'll go back to where he had it. Um, okay, shaders are already off. Details, all these are reasonable, and in my experience, none of these others have much effect except for slow. Um, I think. It, yeah, if you go fancy stuff, sorry, it does start to slow down. Animations, okay, animate train is off. This will have a massive impact on your, and here for example. Turn that on, and you will see, already you can see that everything is really, really slow. So there, one frame per second, just with that one change. So we'll try to get back in, change it back. Fortunately, that ships with uh, default out with this mod pack. Um, everything else is quite reasonable. You could probably turn a few of these things on without any serious effect. And so shader animation. These are all reasonable. The quality settings all seem reasonable. You could actually turn on custom fonts, which uses the mod pack fonts without any real impact, I believe. Relatively minor, if any. Just for comparison, I will go back and turn it off. Um, so most of them don't seem to have any impact. Uh, we got, these are various performance. These are the default settings, which seem to be pretty good. And then other, oh, I just got turned on the frames per second. So we'll go back. And while you're in the uh, setup menu, the, the speed will vary a bit more. Uh, so we go ahead and bail out and look at the hardware specs. So let's look at the system that was running this on. RX 580, 8 gig, um, Windows 7, 64 bit, 16 gigs of RAM. And I gave um, Java 8 gigs. And you can see I'm running a Xeon. 3.2 and in my experience uh, Java does not run as well on a Xeon as it does like a, um, an i5, i7. Okay so now we're going to try on different computers. 3.1 gigahertz i5 so basically 10% slower than the previous machine but an i5 instead of Xeon. Substantially lower level graphics so when we join in we'll see some errors. We'll appear briefly on the lower left. 
Okay, so there's three parts of the shaders that don't work. Frames per second is gradually increasing to a stable value. We're just going to go ahead and turn off the shaders. Okay, so now the shaders are off. Let me just pop back before we make any changes. And so again, here we're up to 30 frames per second with this settings. Um, slight other change. See if it stabilizes. Pretty stabilized. Alright. The music's already off. I need to turn it off. Video settings. We just need one more minimum. Oh, you could actually turn your channel shaders on and use a different shader. Uh, details. Oh, you know, fast. A few of these could be enhanced, turned on if you really like them. A little bit lower shape. Speed. Um, that's off, of course. We'll stick with that for a moment. Okay, so twice as, twice the frames per second. Uh, a little bit slower CPU, lesser graphics card, and just completely different CPU. So we're going to go take a look at some textures at the, the little half my house I built. Okay, so the vanilla textures here are 64-bit, um, uh, included with the application. But you can see we have uh, some Bibliocraft, uh, the Tinker's Construct, so we're going to create a mod pack for that. Um, I'm not particularly fond of the stoves, and so we'll bring some of that in. The other things we got out here is we have um, a little Moonstone ore, which I haven't mined yet. So you can see the ceiling is birchwood planks, and, uh, but the walls are redwood planks, so I don't have a match for that yet. So we'll go ahead and do that step next. Okay, so now we're back with a small mod pack uh, created using a resource pack workbench. Um, you can see the Tinker's Construct. Um, we now have a much better uh, for these items, but now we're missing the desk. Redwood desk, redwood table, they don't exist there. And for some reason, I'm not getting a full set for the, uh, for the woods, which I would like to be getting. So we're going to go ahead and try it again. I'm not sure how this ends up on the floor. Um, it probably is in my hand. Uh, actually, last time I did have these working. So we'll take a different look at that and see if it was so close. We got Tinker's Construct. Um, I'm not sure if that looks that much better. I have a few items in here, but candy I need to put in next time. Let's go ahead and look. So ooh, let's see, do we have a problem? Yep, so there is a problem with, this is based off of a couple mod packs and seems to be a problem there. So we're gonna go ahead and try to fix that next. Okay, so I built a small texture pack, um, mostly manually, it's just, it's not even a zip folder. It's in the resource packs. So you see, um, Redwood planks from Biomes of Plenty have been enhanced. I got um, the furnaces from the Invictus um, uh, mod texture pack, as well as for the chest. I built this uh, redwood table uh, textures, as well as the textures for redwood desk uh, by installing, having both uh, Bibliocraft and Biomes of Plenty installed, automatically get the redwood potion shelf and the redwood bookcase. And of course, I still have um, everything from Tinker's Construct. I located the problem with um, the Arms of Magic. Uh, this particular block, there was a piece missing for it. Should, I think, if I turn on animate textures, that will uh, might change. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So we're right now we're running about 60 frames a second. Going here. Let's see, there's my... Yeah, it's not fully labeled, but there's my little my pack. Okay, so the resource pack loader takes a little while. I go into video settings and I go on animations. So I got textures anime. Let's turn it on and see what happens. I believe I set that up. Actually, I'm seeing some pretty good timing. 
Um, yeah, maybe it doesn't actually. I'm trying to figure out if there's another texture I had that was animated. But I'm gonna try to deal with that later because that's that's pretty good speed. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, let's go ahead and just try. To, see what happens. I do not know why you normally get such a killer on the frame rate. Um, oh yeah, there it is. So if you can stand the frame rate and you got the right texture pack, you get all sorts of fluctuations there. Uh, let's see what else we got to look at. Frame rate's still good. Options. So if you got F8 is the other you know, I mentioned it, so, oh, that's actually enabled. Okay, so I'm not getting killed by that. Uh, turning that off, um, better foliage, will really boost your performance if you have a problem. But, so, like, that's, I'm not sure, what, uh, reset the default, undo change, I'm not sure what that does. Oh, okay, so you can configure an infinite number of things here. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave the defaults because I don't know what the best settings are. Um, I was contemplating changing the texture for the wood planks. I can make them continue. Get rid of the plank texture and just have the wood. I think that'd be pretty nice. Um, the one thing I'd like to deal with, since I switched the uh, stone texture to the one from Invictus or one of the similar ones, uh, obviously it doesn't go smoothly with all that stuff. So this is pretty much like you're used to seeing. So we see a uh, little more there. But let's see, do we have any other ores we can you know, grab? It's a gravel texture I went with. Um, some silver ore, some mushroom. I don't want to grab one of the emeralds. I'm looking for a red garden. I'm not sure what to do with that. Ouch, this is. Uh, okay. I'm looking for a very specific ore. Ah, there we are. So this is the texture for this mod pack for the, the basic ores. And you can see I don't have a match. Otherwise, all the stone would be really dark, and then these other guys would really show up. Um, so, and that's pretty cool there. And I believe we got random textures on, so you can see that these are not identical uh, on each side. It's incredibly bright in here. Um, and then you can see this is actually Thermal foundation, you can see it does not match. Oh, actually, I, I need to bring thermal foundation in next. So we'll, I'm going to do that uh, before I bring this up again. Again, you see the gold ore. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to merge this texture with that. I don't have a software to do that. Okay, so now I have all my textures I wanted. So again, uh, the video te textures are all working. I changed my ceiling slightly. I change the texture. Uh, I don't have the fluctuating textures on. Um, I think what you're most interested in is I went through and I built some new textures. So if we go down here like last time, okay, that's the dirt I'm using. And I'm going to change it. Uh, let's see what we got. I won't be able to find everything because it's you know, just noise. Did not change that one. Um, now these are other stone texture, but not quite as dark as the ones come from the game. Uh, did not change these. Hmm. Oh, I, I haven't done lead, lead yet. Um, so there we see the blue topaz soil, that's the texture I made for it. Uh, gold ore, I haven't done that one. So there's about seven or eight of them I've, I've done. Plus everything looks. There's my silver ore texture, um, all custom, and here's my shimmerite ore, same custom, uh, custom yellowite ore, custom ferrous ore, uh, and did not produce a custom aluminum ore yet, I need to bring one of those old other ones over. And so let's, let's go back to the house, take a look, forgot to look at the 
Let's see. Um, we got another random storm. So we the sky problem is is if you have a custom. The default with this texture pack is currently set at four for view distance, or if you have it set below six, below six, you'll get artifacts in the uh, sky. So those are now fixed. Not. Let me get that texture back installed. So that's just about it for now. Um, made most of the textures I want to make it for now.